Well, hello, hello. Another lower body session for you uh, here today. So this was just deadlifts and squats. And, um, and this deadlift cycle that I'm using, um, there are 17 total workouts. Uh, and this is, <laughs> I thought I had this committed to memory. So it's 14, it's the 14th workout. There's three workouts remaining in this. Uh, it'll take me through to, uh, you know, the next four weeks, basically. And then a three-week taper period. And then World Championships in Vegas. So that's the timing on this. Um, working sets today were 450 for four sets of one. And um, <laughs> I just always say the same thing every time. They were very, very hard. But... Um, I'll be interested to kind of watch along here as we go through this. It took me a while um, to do, I think it was 11, I think it was 11 total sets of deadlifts, including these warm-ups, and six sets of high bar squats. Um, took me, you know, about an hour and 40 minutes, to be honest. I mean, uh, the, the, um, the rest between those heavy pulls was probably at least 10 minutes between sets, so took a while so uh, you know you got to pick your battles and one of the things that I am finding on this cycle is that it's just so hard that by the time I get done with pulls if I can do five or six sets of squats afterwards um, that's pretty much about it both in terms of time and in terms of energy so uh, the uh, my other lower body day is on Monday and that's where you know that's that's a higher volume day so but uh, I'd be curious to see how these look. I know how they felt. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I have to say I knew I had them, but um, uh, they were hard. That's based off of, a ni that's 90% of a 500 max. I've done a little bit more than 500, but I used 500 as a maximum to, to generate the numbers from this program. Actually, in retrospect, you know, I might have might have been better off going a little bit more conservative, but uh, so far I'm getting through this. Weighed uh, 201 this morning, so body weight's pretty good. I'm only about three pounds heavy. Just getting through these final uh, warm-ups. It was a bit of a psychological break just to just to be able to do singles, so that aspect of things was kind of nice. I remember this 315 felt good, and then the final warm up was 385. I'm curious to see how this looks. Yeah, that went, that went pretty nice for 315. So, you know, certainly I've pulled 450 many times, I've pulled over five, but the idea of doing four singles with um, with 450 is, is for me like a big challenge. Um, I kind of have a psychology where once I've done a certain weight it's kind of boring and uninspiring to just repeat it but I need to do more of that. I need to definitely um, grind away and just put work in and, and that's what I'm doing on this program so here's 385. That was okay. Although I think back to my last competition when I opened at 405 and 405 was faster than that. So here comes the first work set. Here comes the first of four singles. And um, I'm curious to see how this looks. No, it's okay, you know, it's just hard, right? It's a little bit of a relief to do that because I just knew after that I could get three more. So, uh, and I'm locking these out a little better than I've been in the past. So that's a good sign. But these were hard. So as I said before, about 10 minute breaks between these. As to whether or not I really needed 10 minutes, I couldn't tell you, but I just didn't want to chance it. I think the second one was tough. I think this was a tough one. Yeah, that right side is a little low, but could be worse. 
I may have mentioned this. Oh, this is going to come up quick. Okay, so here's the third single. Yeah, I was I was definitely uh, definitely feeling that one. I'm learning how to grind a little bit better. You know, I'm learning how to be. This program has taught me how to grind and how to be a little bit more tenacious. It's given me better kind of first gear strength, if that makes any sense. But I don't feel fresh. I've not felt fresh since I've started this program, but um, hopefully a three-week taper will, will fix that. So here's my final single. This was probably the hardest, which is what you'd expect. But you know what? I like how that looks. That was... <laughs> That was a relief to get that done. So uh, Chris and Ryan were front squatting, and I am uh, doing some high bar back squats. By the time I took this first set with the bar, I'm probably an hour and 10 minutes into the workout. Um, worked up to 275 for five, which on a high bar certainly is not the best for me, but it's okay for right now. And especially given all the pulls, it's all right, I'll take it. Huh. Funny, I never noticed before how the camera apparently, I see uh, the brightness is changing based on what's on the screen. Interesting. This actually felt okay for high bar. Hoping to put up a good low bar squat on Monday. Felt all right. Yep, not too bad. You know, again, I really would love to have gotten a few sets of back extensions in here or hip thrust, but you know, at a certain point, you just have to call it a day. And, you know, that's why they call it specialization, because you're focusing on one thing, and when you do that, you have to let other things go, at least at least for that day. There's only so much you can do. It's probably the hardest deadlift workout I've ever done, or one of the hardest, certainly. I like the depth on these. look pretty good. Chris was mentioning that I'm carrying the bar. The bar is a little lower on the right side, so I'm kind of watching for that. I know that I do that sometimes. Um, don't know why I do it. I've had a bunch of knee surgery on my right knee, but um, but you wouldn't expect that side to be low. You'd expect that side to be high because I don't have very good flexion on my right knee. But I don't know. Might be just overcompensating for the knee. Might be might be just nothing in particular. When you have asymmetries, if um, they just pop up from time to time, it's not really all that concerning. But if you have a long-term consistent asymmetry and you're lifting heavy, heavy, um, I think it's worth trying to sleuth it out and see what you've got going on, maybe. Uh, that looks, well, I guess it is a little lower on the right side if you look at that. But... Uh, I don't think that's a constant feature of my squatting, so I'm not particularly concerned about it. So as I said here, this is about an hour after this workout, and uh, you know it was a tough workout, but I don't feel really busted. I mean, I don't feel destroyed. I just feel like I did a hard workout. So uh, I guess what I'm learning through this is I can take more of a beating than than I realize. Uh, at least so far. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I'm going to look at it in the mirror. That's a better sense of the actual depth. So if you look at me in the mirror, you can see my depth is just about parallel. But then if you look at me directly, it looks much deeper than what it looks like in the mirror. So that's a little lesson about looking at squat depth. Um, the angle at which you're looking at it really makes a huge difference.
That's uh, Ryan's ginormous arms. So watch my depth on the first rep here. Watch, watch me directly, and then on the second rep, watch me in the mirror, and you'll see you'll see a difference. Um, if you look at me directly right now, it looks very deep. Low, it looks like it's below parallel. But now watch watch me in the mirror off to the side, and it doesn't look all that deep. So there you go. So I hit five with two seventy five, felt pretty good. And uh, that's about it for this workout. So hope you're enjoying the videos. Leave a comment, please leave a like, maybe do a share if you find this interesting or informative or inspiring some way. So uh, I will see you guys next time.